been talking about your weather a little bit. Beautiful Thursday evening as we've been talking about. Still some warm temperatures out in our inland areas. 88 right now still in Vidalia. We're looking at right around 80 degrees here in Savannah, upper 70s right now in Richmond Hill. Pretty much as we head into this evening, temperatures going to be dropping into those upper 60s as we get closer to midnight. As we go into tomorrow morning, it's going to be very similar to what we saw today, but still also going to look for lots of that patchy fog. So want to alert you to give yourself some extra time as you commute. As you can see, this is going to be all around the area tomorrow. This is looking at around seven. This could linger around through at least mid morning, maybe even a few hours after that, and it could have an effect on some of our high temperatures right now, though for your low temperatures. I'm still going to look for mid to lower 60s out there, upper 60s. If you're going to be out along the coast tomorrow as we go through the day, the patchy fog going to linger around through at least the mid morning, maybe a little bit after, but temperatures should rebound very quickly as we get that flow coming in off the ocean. So lower 80s by the time we get to noon, we'll be looking at mid 80s as we head into the afternoon. Still going to track a little bit of a sea breeze related rain chances, but a lot of that's going to be determined by how long those uh, foggy conditions stick around because here's what I'm looking at for highs right now. If you're south of the Altamaha, could see a few lower 90s out there, upper 80s north of I-16, and then cooler temperatures closer to the coast. As we go through the day, temperatures warm up, and with the cloud cover sticking around, the sea breeze is not as prominent as what we were seeing with some of these most recent runs, but we still have that next system coming in from the west, and that's going to aid in some scattered rain chances out in our western areas after sunset and they'll slowly push close to Savannah as we get into Saturday morning. But if you have those Friday night plans, pretty much going to be looking at lower 70s through midnight. It's all because of this high pressure. That's what's going to continue giving us the rain chances each day. Also going to keep us in those mid 80s throughout the weekend. Warmer temperatures next week, but pretty much what we'll be looking at is 40% chances for rain through Monday. Isolated chances the rest of the week. This is all because we've got a weak front that's going to be diving into the area as we go into the weekend, and then it'll pretty much be dying off over the top of us as we go into Monday. So we're still going to keep some of those rain chances sticking around. But then after that, the high pressure is still going to be lingering around the area. So very warm temperatures come back into play. Not going to look for that next system to come in until we at least get into next weekend. But let's take a look at your next seven days and I'm going to get this to come back. And I think I pressed it a little too many times. There we go. Pretty much what we're going to be looking at is keep your keep an eye on the radar as we head into the weekend and get ready for very warm temperatures. Mid 90s could be returning as we get into the second half of